Here we are walking through the Pontiacs and the Jeeps. Uh, I got a, a question to ask you. Once I get this all said and done, uh, I've took all the wheels and the bearings and stuff and re and worked on them. And these things has got new brakes on it, new wheel cylinders. The front was new, new too, with wheel seals and bearings and everything, brakes, wheel cylinders new, hoses new, uh, the tie rod ends and stuff is new, it's all new, and I was starting to, to, uh, I've got all the stuff in boxes over there to make it new 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 again but I may have to take it all back because it's all got new uh, when I first got this thing I drove it around a little bit short just a short little hoofy and uh, I noticed two things I didn't like it steered real hard and uh, it had a full brake pedal but you had to push it with both feet to uh, to stop it and uh, when uh, when I got to checking on it the darn car wouldn't roll in neutral you couldn't push it with a bulldozer and I looked around and every one of these drums and hubs was as tight as you could get them adjustable wise so some reason they had that stuff tightened and ready to go so uh, I figured that was my problem why that didn't have any brakes and I had to push on them real hard Oh, looky there, I got my chrome rims put on some of that. I'll have to clean them up, polish them up. I only need one more to make a set of four. But anyway, some of y'all might know that I'm going to get out of this wind. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Some of y'all might know uh about that let me see what time it is oh it's just it's almost 29 degrees in here here's the one I can't use because it's got it's rusted to beat the bang look at that ruffles and it's got holes in it there's a hole out there open to the outside and uh, before I scrap this I'm going to cut the rivets and I'll take the center out of it, which I've done before, and uh, I'll save the chrome part. And I might put it in one of the painted ones, because I'm just that kind of stupid. Oh, uh, yeah. But, however, uh, why would they have adjusted all them wheels up? tight there's another one I've got mounted and uh, why would they do that now I, I figured out why the steering was bad be, was real hard because it's got the wrong ratio of steering sector it used to have power steering when it was new and uh, they got manual steering on it now which this is why it has all that new front end stuff, I guess. But it's still got the, the power steering sector on it, gearbox. And they're a really fast ratio, and that's why it's hard to turn. I hope. But any who way, man, this is cold on my, bre on my chin whiskers. But anyway, uh... Give me your thoughts on that. 
and uh, don't be shy why they had that stuff adjusted all the way up and I checked the adjuster the uh, star adjusters down there and they're all for the right side I mean the right and left side there because you take that little cap off the end and they got an L or, R or an R on the adjuster which is L goes to Larry's side and R goes to Roger's side and Roger always drives and Larry looks out the window so no Larry drives and Roger looks out the window I'm confused but anyway that's the way the world twirls and if y'all can help me let me know if you think that might uh, might cause it to have a full pedal and no bricky and why they did that at the beginning I may I can't find any problem with any of it unless it's a master cylinder maybe bypassing or something but that's it I'm gonna get off of here and go in where it's cool where it's warm boy this is a re this is a upside down backwards day anyway I love y'all thank you for your help okay bye